In my last video, I broke the world record for the world's largest Lego vending machine. Today, I'll be starting my next creation, the world's largest Lego bowling alley. Current Lego bowling alleys all have a few things in common. The first similarity being that they all use a lot of programmable motors and sensors. This is what I've had access to the last few years, so I decided it was time to upgrade. Now with almost three times as many components, we should be ready to build. This is a standard Lego bowling pin, and this is a plastic one, and finally this is a mini one. But this is what we'll be using in my machine. This is the size of a typical bowling ball in most machines. Works great with the normal pins, but when you put it to the test against the pins we'll be using, it does not quite hold up. Here we have a Lego Duplo ball. It is much bigger, but it is a bit lighter. Durability in the pins is kind of a problem though. But as of now, they currently have a rod going through the center of the body of the pin, but not through the top of it. Using a thinner rod like this, we should be able to get it into the top of the pin and throughout the entire body. I'll just have to order more of those and cut them down soon. This is a 48 by 48 Lego base plate, the biggest one they make. And this is another one. And that's all I have. With the third base plate down, I then decided to add another 32 by 32 and a 16 by 32 base plate. While first building the mechanism for how the pins and the bowling ball will be separated, I realized that while curving the treads backwards, they make a circle. So by building a taller part at the end, we may be able to lift the pins up by using this mechanism. So, new idea, instead of having the belts take the chains over and then up, and then have to go down into the pins that are here, I could save a lot of space by having them go over, and I could stretch this out to here, then have this chain be turned 90 degrees this way, to have them then go up that way and cycle over. With the conveyor belt turned 90 degrees, now the pins will go across those, and I actually have to lift that up. While putting the treads on, I realized that I can't just rely on tension to keep the belts up. Instead, I'm going to have to put pieces underneath, as when you get towards the middle chains, they begin to pull the axles together way too much. Luckily, I kind of assumed this would happen, and I bought a bunch of tiles. When putting a tile under a brick, we can see that it keeps it at a flat level in the middle of the treads. When we move those tiles out to the edge, we can see that the cogs raise it up to an angle that the pins would not be able to just go right across. Instead, we're going to have to raise up the tiles to make sure that it goes from a steady flat level just down. And with the last of the tiles on, we should be ready to add the treads. Finally, we have a large conveyor belt that's able to move the pins from where they would get hit off of the lane to the back of the pin cycler. By adding some containing walls, now we can address the problem of sorting the pins from the ball. From a side view, we can see that the ball is a bit taller than the pins are wide. We should be able to add a rod so that way the ball gets moved off of the treads while the pins can go underneath it. Attaching a simple motor onto this, we can see that the blue rod acts as that divider while the yellow ones just move the pins towards the center. The pins can go right underneath and then by those yellow rods get moved to the center while the ball gets stopped. But a current problem I'm having is that the ball just goes to the other side or it just goes backwards. Even with those red pieces on the treads that are supposed to move it the other way, it won't go. By using a heavier ball, it's going to resist the spinning a lot more and would much rather just move with those conveyor belts. 
has proven through the use of a lot of physics equations. As mentioned earlier, another belt would help move the bowling balls along that rail. Along with that belt, I need to order the pieces for the chain that would take the bowling pins up to the top of the pin setter. And with a click, they're on their way. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.